Hey guys, this is Callum from English Shooting and some of you may have seen on Gumroom TV and I actually shared it on the English Shooting Facebook page, Beretta have just released a new Silver Pigeon or an updated Silver Pigeon field. Uh, we made a sneak peek video of it to sort of show it off and we've got it for a few more weeks so as you can probably hear in the background we've come to a clay ground and I'm going to have some first shots with it. I've come inside the car because it's incredibly windy outside so I, I thought you probably wouldn't be able to hear me with the microphone blowing. So the, the new field, the uh, main points of the new gun is that it's now using the Optima choke system moving away from the mobile choke uh, and also it's new engraving, a new style of engraving and also going to laser engraving instead. Um, so it's a staple within the shotgun world, within clay shooting or even out uh, pest control. The Silver Pigeon is, is one of the guns that I always recommend alongside, say, a, a, a Browning uh, 525. It's the base model of Beretta. It's going to last you forever. It has the same action as many of the more expensive guns as well. It just doesn't have, say, the fancier engraving and, and gold inlay here and there uh, like you would with, say, a Jubilee or a Double E Double L. So, yes. I'm sure there's gonna be lots of people uh, interested in seeing it, so let's stop talking, get out to the range and see how this gun shoots. So I've just completed a round of 50 clays there with the new Silver Pigeon uh, 1 field. Now, I certainly can't say it um, made my scores any worse, not that I'm the best judge of, uh, of a gun and skill with clays, but it felt like uh, the Silver Pigeon that you know, I've used for over five years now. Subtle differences with the, the fore end and obviously it was a 30 inch gun rather than a 28 inch that I'm used to with the Silver Pigeon that I, I shoot with on a regular basis. So it's a great Beretta Silver Pigeon just like they've always been and as I'm guessing they will always continue to be but it's good to see that Beretta they aren't resting on anything they are continuing to develop uh, and refine these guns. I think it's very comparable to Porsche in the sense that they have a design that they know works very well, but they need to keep up with the times um, 
changing things, adapting, improving as they go along. So I will be doing a uh, more in-depth review of the gun uh, later on in, in the gun room and that's going to air uh, shortly after this one. But I thought with a lot of interest and it being a brand new gun onto the market, I'd get out onto the range and see how it does. And Overall, I'm certainly not disappointed. So there we go, guys. Thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you've enjoyed it. And as always, hope to see you soon.